Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be talking about Stephen King's 2004 collaboration with Stuart Onan, Faithful, or two diehard Boston Red Sox fans chronicle the historic 2004 season. We're going to cover all kinds of versions, iterations, and releases of this very unique book in this video. So without further ado, here we go. So the first U.S. trade hardcover edition was published by Scribner in 2004. There's the back jacket. Inside the cover, on the flap, look for a price of $26. And on the copyright page, a number line that includes the number one. Nothing, nothing super fancy or, or very unique about this. Red boards, black, paper-covered spine, silver lettering. Good-looking book. Nothing spectacular, but definitely also nothing wrong with that either. So, yeah, there it is. I'm going to turn it over to Noah to carry on with some additional and far more fancy and interesting versions of Faithful. Now we're going to take a look at Faithful, uh, starting with the British uh, trade edition of the book. Um, this is a book that I had a lot of trouble reading, not a baseball fan, um, and honestly, I... I I believe I just kind of read or almost skimmed um, the portions of the book that were written by King um, and just skipped the rest of it. It was really rough. <laughs> so um, probably the only Stephen King um, book length work that I didn't enjoy or sit and read fully um just not my thing but anyway uh this is the british trade edition uh published by um weidenfeld and nicholson actually uh and um if you're looking to see if your copy is a first printing you're looking for a printed price of 12.99 uk on the jacket flap and the copyright page um will say uh will not have any indication of printing here. So I'm assuming later printings um, were indicated somehow. But uh, anyway, this book was published in 2005. So um, the year after uh, it came out in the US. And that's a look at that. So there you go, UK Faithful. And now we're going to take a look at the limited editions of Faithful. Um, the limited editions uh, were published in three states. Um, the first was the Gift State. Uh, the Gift State um, came in this red um, cardboard slipcase with black and silver foil stamping on the front and spine. Um, the book itself... Uh, features uh, baseball art on the front and full color, I'm not, sort of sepia tone uh, illustrations on the end papers. This edition was $85. This is the gift edition. Um, and uh, it was a charity, um, charity thing, I, I, if I remember correctly. Um, for for books to benefit, right, 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 right. It's all coming back. So I think a portion of the money, or all of the money, or some of the money, um, went to that charity. Um, but this was the first, um, the first of the three states that saw a release, um, and uh, and it was, by the way, Lonely Road Publishers, Brian Freeman's. Uh, First um, Press was the publisher that printed this. And that is the gift edition of, of Faithful.
There it is. And that was followed by the uh, limited edition of the book, um, which was released in this p sort of puffy white tray case, uh, really nice for a, a numbered state um, with the red foil baseball stitches um, on the front and back and the silver uh, title on the front and spine. So the tray case is really nice. The inside of the case has the red sort of velvet um, piece uh, inlaid on the front and the back. And the book itself um, is bound in white leather with matching foil stamping all across. It's got different illustrations on the end papers than the gift state. And it's followed by the limitation page. So um, this was uh, done in a 350 copy print run. Um, and it, all copies were signed um, only by uh, Stuart on Onan, uh, not Stephen King. So Stephen King didn't sign any of these. And um, and that's basically that's basically the book. So it's very nice. Very nice production, beautiful uh, limited edition there. And not too many done, I guess, because uh, King didn't sign it and it's nonfiction. And I guess there wasn't a market for uh, nonfiction, uh, non-signed King uh, book at the time, but there you have it. And finally, we have the lettered state of Faithful. Um, the lettered state is really, really, really nice. Uh, it was published in this beautiful wood slip case, um, with, uh, which is like a, a nice, a much nicer version of the old, uh, dark harvest, uh, slip crates. Um, those were kind of rough, rough wood. This is like a beautiful, smooth, um, shiny, um, wooden case really well done and I'll get to that I'll get to more of that in a minute um, the title is burned in like uh, in, in bought, not embossed engraved into the um, spine and what's really cool about this is the engraving on the front of the slip case um, has the actual letter designation uh, done in right so this is a copy m so each letter had its own uh n um, letter you know done into the actual wood of the slip case which i've never seen in any other book ever done uh the pcs had pc here and so it's it's a really really just just the slip case alone is something else and it's also you can see these sort of beveled edges it's not square and the, the you know it's it's kind of rounded here which is really nice um as opposed to the the dark harvest ones from years ago uh the inside of this thing is lined in red felt i don't know how well you can see it but dark harvest didn't do that so um often the books got you know rubbed or chafed coming in and out this one um has this uh, la layer of protection which is really cool um, the book itself um, is quarter bound in black leather. Um, the rest is uh, red uh, cloth and it's got a f silver foil baseball stamped on the front. Um, you've got these, these nubs on the spine and uh, it's just a really pretty book. The text block is done in silver. Um, it's got the same end papers as the numbered state. Um, and the limitation page follows. So uh, this was done in uh, a run of 26 copies. Again, only signed by um, Stuart Onan with a little inscription uh, underneath. I'm assuming it's the same in all of them. And, uh, and that's that. And the rest of the interior of the book matches the, um, the numbered one. So here's the lettered uh, faithful. A really unique 
uh, beautiful slipcase. I can't praise it enough. It's, it's gorgeous. Um, and that completes the three states of the uh, limited uh, edition of this book. Thanks for checking it out. Okay, so I don't know how long I can make this portion of the video because I have to admit right up front, I have not read Faithful all the way through. I am not particularly interested in reading Faithful all the way through. You might say, well, why the hell do you have it in your collection if you don't care about it or want to read it? Well, I am a Stephen King collector and this is a piece of the puzzle. And this is a book that um, can be found fairly fairly easily. Doesn't cost a lot of money. Um, I do know about it. I, I'm not a huge baseball fan. I don't follow baseball, um, generally speaking. But I know that the Red Sox have had a almost century long like losing streak called The Curse with a capital C. And Stephen King and Stuart Onan decide to chronicle, write about the season, um, and release it as a book. And lo and behold, the gods smiled upon this endeavor, and the Red Sox actually did amazingly well. And come to find out, there was an actual, like, historic story to tell from from the season. But anyway, so they did that and they they wrote and they emailed back and forth and they kept notes and then finally it came out as faithful which is you know an interesting side side trip an interesting diversion in the the Stephen King universe like i said i've i've read bits and pieces i've never read the thing all the way through um and i don't know that i that i ever will but it is Stephen King title and there are quite a few uh, interesting releases of, of the work. So we did want to get all of those down in one place for, for your benefit, should it prove to be useful in your own collecting endeavors. But anyway, um, as always, thank you very much for your support. Thank you for your time. Take care of yourselves, and I will talk to you later. Bye.